You can see the scene really hasn't changed much in the past 48 hours when we showed you that school bus crashing into this garage, but really it all began seconds earlier, right across the street here in front of Horace Mann's school when that mom was hit just as she was putting her child into her car. I was in between my car door and my car, like just holding on. Um, while my legs were like dragging. Natalie asked that we not show her face, but this mother of two considers herself lucky to be alive. So my son in the car and luckily I got him in his seat and as I was buckling him, that's when the bus just hit me. Seconds before this school bus crashed into this garage Tuesday in front of her children's school, it first hit Natalie's parked car as she leaned inside, dragging her along the ground. I seen the bus tires. I thought I was going to be underneath them. I mean, there was so many things running through my mind. It seemed like forever. I just seemed like, oh my God, when is he going to stop? She was picking up her five and 11 year old children from Horace Mann School. Her son, who had just been buckled in, was not hurt. Where was your daughter? She was watching everything from her classroom window. Like she's seen everything happening. And then she came running down the stairs. She watched you get hit and dragged. Mm -hmm. None of the six children on the bus were seriously hurt. The bus driver was taken to the hospital. His condition is unknown. Natalie escaped with scrapes and bruises. So how are you feeling now? <laughs> I wish I could just erase it from my mind. I'm in a lot of pain, I mean, but just taking it day by day. You know, you don't think you're going to go pull up to your kid's school and something like that's going to happen. Kent joining us live again, and do we, joining us live again, do we know what caused that crash, Kent? Uh, we don't yet. I was in contact with West Dallas Police just a short time ago. They tell me their investigation is still ongoing, but say they may have more information for us tomorrow. Natalie tells me she is looking for answers as well. All right.